Greetings in the Lord. Our verse today is from John chapter 19, verse 33. But when they came to Jesus and found that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. Instead, one of the soldiers pierced his side with a spear, and at once there came out blood and water. Beloved in Christ, a reflection today which combines verses 32 and 33 of John chapter 19 is drawn from the story of the crucifixion of Jesus as we celebrate the solemnity of the most sacred heart of Jesus, the heart of love, the heart pierced for our sake and our salvation. This scenario narrates the events of the breaking of the bones of the man crucified with Jesus and the piercing of Jesus' side. The breaking of the legs of a crucified person was a practice common to the Romans. It quickens the death of the person, and this was considered as showing mercy, because the regular thing is that the crucified person could hang for days before dying. These events occurred because they needed to remove the bodies quickly before the Sabbath and the Passover, which was to begin at sunset. So they broke the legs of the other two, but when they came to Jesus, they discovered he was already dead and did not require his legs to be broken. So one of the soldiers decided to pierce his side with a spear. Dear friends, some people are not happy when they have not inflicted pain on you, and they are very excited when they see you humiliated. This could be the case with this soldier. He wanted to be sure that any spark of life in Jesus was effectively dealt with. When he did pierce the side of Jesus, the evangelist reports that at once water and blood flowed from the pierced side of Jesus. John is the only evangelist to report this event, and opinions regarding the symbolism differ among scholars and interpreters. The symbol of blood and water is that they confirm that Jesus died and that he is truly man. They also signify Jesus' gift of life through the living water and his blood. Jesus gives the living water as in John 4 verse 10. And in John 7 39, it symbolizes the spirit that those who believe in him would receive. The blood also stands as a symbol of the benefits of Jesus' death which is the gift of the Spirit. Dear friends, for us, the water from the side of Jesus reminds us of the water of our baptism. It continues to refresh our thirsty souls and cleanses us of the stain of sin. And the blood reminds us of the Holy Eucharist, the body and blood of Christ, which is for the new covenant sealed in his blood and we are partakers of this covenant. The piercing of Jesus was a further act of wickedness, but God changed it to our blessing. So when we submit ourselves at the foot of the cross, we experience this living water that revives and restores our souls, and the blood plunges us into the benefits of the new covenant, while pleading to God for the forgiveness of our sins. The heart of Jesus is sacred, and what flows from his sacred heart is living water and life-giving blood. The blood of Jesus is a symbol of protection. It is our identity marker, and it ties us to the cross of Jesus, which is our banner of victory. May the water from the side of Christ flow over your soul and cleanse and purify you, and may the blood of Jesus identify you and protect you from all harm. May God change every act of wickedness against you to your blessing. Amen. God bless you. Have a nice day.